In the last video, we learned how to work out uh, the length of the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle using Pythagoras theorem. So if we just want to remind ourselves, Pythagoras theorem is here, c squared equals a squared plus b squared, where c uh, is the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle. Um, visually, we can see the theorem, so I don't know if you remember from the last video, we've got sort of that the area of um, of c squared here would be equal to the area of a squared plus b squared. So now we're going to look at how we would use Pythagoras theorem to work out any side of a right angle triangle. Okay, so here's our example. In this case here, what we uh, might notice and what you might, what you might notice straight away is that you are given the hypotenuse. Okay, so the hypotenuse, remember, is across from the right angle. So in this case, the hypotenuse is 10 centimeters. And we're given one of the shorter sides, and we're also given, or we want to find out this other side here, x. Okay, so if we plug what we know into our formula, we're going to say that the hypotenuse squared, so 10 squared, is equal to that side there, 8 squared, plus the side we don't know, so we'll call that x squared. Okay, and we need to solve for x. So in order to do that, you need to get x on its own. And you might need to look back at the videos on rearranging formula if this is a bit confusing for you. So in order to get x on its own, you're going to have to subtract 8 squared from both sides. So we end up with 10 squared minus 8 squared is equal to x squared. So what we're doing is we're subtracting the square of the shorter side from the square of the hypotenuse. Okay, and if we look at our diagram again, what that means is if you took this area here and you subtracted from it this area, b squared, then you'd be left with this area and if you want to count the squares and look at the area of those you'll see that that's true okay so we've basically just rearranged pythagoras theorem and we work out uh what x is the way we normally would so 10 squared is 100 because 10 times 10 is 100 8 squared is 64 because 8 times 8 is 64 and that's going to be equal to x squared 100 minus 64 gives us 36. Okay, and to get x on its own, we're going to do the take the square root of 36. Okay, so that's saying what times itself will give me 36. So hopefully you know the answer to that is 6. So x is equal to 6. And don't forget your unit, 6 centimeters. Okay, so just to recap, if we need to find out one of the shorter sides of a triangle and we're given the hypotenuse, we're always going to do the hypotenuse squared. So the hypotenuse squared minus whatever side we're given squared, and that's going to give us the other side squared. Okay, let's try another example. So in this case, you are not given the triangle. You're going to have to draw it yourself. So you're given that angle A is 90 degrees. AB, so the length from A to B is 15 centimeter, centimeters. And BC is 30 centimeters. So what we want to find is the length of AC. So we'll start by drawing this triangle out. So you can draw it kind of any way you want. So here's my right angle triangle. Okay, and we're told that angle A is 90 degrees, so this must be A here, okay? From A to B is 15 centimeters, so if I call that, that vertex B, then the length there is 15 centimeters. And then this must be C, and the length from B to C, so that length there, is 30 centimeters. So the side we want to find out is AC. So if you'd like to try this one on your own, you can. Otherwise, you can follow along. So hopefully you've noticed that in this question, we're given the hypotenuse. Remember, the hypotenuse is opposite the right angle. 
So we are going to use uh, the formula that the hypotenuse squared minus the other side squared is equal to the shorter side squared. Okay, so what this means is the hypotenuse is 30 centimeters, so 30 squared minus this side, so 15 squared, is equal to a squared. In this case, a, we can just call a this side here. Or you could have called it ac, it's up to you. 30 squared is 900. And 15 squared, so 15 times 15, is 225. When you subtract those, you get 675. And to work out a squared, we need to take the square root of 675. Sorry, to work out a. Okay, so this um, working out the square root of 675 isn't um, isn't immediately obvious to us because 675 isn't a square number. So if we left it like mm -hmm. that, that would actually be the exact value here. So we have left it as a third or as a square root. Um, if the question asks you to round to one decimal place, you'll probably need to use your calculator to work that out. So if you put the square root of 675 into your calculator, you'll get um, something like this, 25.98076 and so on, okay? Um, so rounded to one decimal place, that actually rounds to 26.0 and we'll put in here centimeters. And in brackets, we'll put that we rounded to one decimal place to show our accuracy. Okay, we need to put, if we're rounding to one decimal place, we need to leave the point zero in there to show that we've rounded to uh, one decimal place. Okay, so that's the, um, the second section of this unit. So we're looking at finding any side of a right angle triangle using Pythagoras theorem.